Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. So I just got a message on Poshmark that said trade question mark, which I do not do trades. But anyway, it's kind of funny that that just came through before I'm going to do my Poshmark what sold video. Um, I sell on Poshmark. I've been selling on Poshmark about two years. Um, I am a seasoned eBay seller, been selling on eBay since 2005. But um, yeah, I wanted to branch out to Mercari and Poshmark. So I've been doing that for the last couple of years. These are items to be on the lookout for items that I bought low and sold high. Uh, I do sell home goods on Poshmark. So not every item you're going to see is a uh, clothing item. So stay tuned for that and watch to the end. And thanks for being here. If you're new to the channel, I have tons of Bolo content. So, uh, Items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high. This is my Poshmark what sold, and we are going to get started. All right, the first item is, okay, these are express pants. This was a retail arbitrage from a discount store. I had approximately $3 in these, and they sold for $23 and buyer paid shipping. This was a retail arbitrage online purchase, so I ordered it online. And it was usually like when items clearance out and stuff like that. And I have coupons and, you know, I, I probably had seven or eight bucks in this. You're not going to get the same margins as going out to like a thrift store or a garage sale. But um, I used to do a lot of retail arbitrage, but it's not really my thing anymore. But uh, it takes a lot of patience and timing to, to find the items online. Uh, Fredericks of Hollywood, I've I've done some on that website. Um, trying to think. David's Bridal, I did some there, which, whew, golly, I don't, I would not do that again. But anyway, this bra sold for $25. Um, and the buyer paid shipping. Sorry, I drew a blank right there. The next item is this Victoria's Secret bra. This came from a discount store. All the items that I get from here are. The tags are either cut, black lined, marked through. I just disclosed that and I sold this for $12. Uh, the buyer paid shipping and I had about $3 in it. So got a cute little back to it. I have tons of Victoria's Secret in my posh closet. So if you're looking for a Victoria's Secret bra, I probably have your size. The next item are these express shorts. Again, a retail arbitrage from a discount store. I paid about $3 each for these. So I'm all in at six bucks. Sold them for $40. Poshmark took eight. So I earned $32 minus my eight bucks. Lane Bryant shorts. Uh, these were a retail arbitrage. Also, I sold these for $27 plus shipping. And again, probably had eight bucks in these because they are new with tags. And I do have more listed if anybody's looking for shorts. These were a plus size 28. Another Victoria's Secret brawl, same thing, about three bucks in it. Uh, sold it for 25 with uh, free or er, buyer pain shipping. And it's got a really cute uh, strappy look to it. All right, one of my subscribers bought this and I appreciate it so much. So if you're watching, thank you. Um, they have a grandbaby coming soon and they bought this to take to the hospital. So super cute. I love grandma and grandpa. So um, super cute one. So thank you again for your purchase. I appreciate it very, very much. And you guys, I always put links to my stores down in the description of the video. Feel free to make me offers. Let me know you're a subscriber to the channel. I always appreciate that. And it helps me with like negotiations and stuff like that. And if you want to be shouted out when I do my what sold, please let me know. And if not, I'll just say a subscriber. The next item is this little vintage Easter pin. It's a pull string bunny rabbit sold for $13 in the buyer paid shipping. I picked this up at a thrift store for, I want to say it was like 50 cents. Yeah, I think it was 50 cents, but you pull on the string and it moves. It's super cute. This was a garage sale find with a bunch of really cute clothes, but um, it was a bulk buy. So I can't say for sure what I had in it. Another bulk buy like garage sales. I do all the time. I buy stuff at garage sales in lots. I love doing kids clothes in lots on Poshmark because they sell, but this sold for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. So if you're out at garage sales, instead of like just 
cherry picking it, say, what do you want for all of your kids' clothes? You'll be surprised. People just want to move stuff. Uh, Lane Bryant joggers. This was from my money pile. And when I talk about my money pile, some people call it a death pile. I call it a money pile. Um, I have so many new with tags, clothing items that are just sitting because I don't want to list them. I want to do my fun, like hard goods items, but this is one item I forced myself to list. I've sold, I think five pair. This is maybe my sixth pair that I've sold. I sold these for $20. Um, in the buyer paid shipping. I've sold most of them on eBay. This is a Dr. Ray shapewear. It's a size small. I picked it up for about a buck at a discount store, sold it for 10 in the buyer paid shipping. Express jeans. This is kind of funny. So I sold these two jeans in a bundle, um, anywhere between three and $5 a piece. They're new with tags. They offered me $55 for both pairs. So Poshmark took 11. So my earnings were 44. Let's say worst case scenario, I had 10 bucks in them. So I made a $34 profit, which is great. But they're Kingston straight black jeans, size 30, 34. Okay. So I sold these. And then this pair sold like right after that same brand, same size, same style, different buyer. So I'm almost wondering like, does Poshmark send out alerts like some items you're watching sold? So maybe they were like, oh, I'm watching another pair and then they bought it. It was weird because they paid $35 um, and they paid the shipping. So kind of cool that I sold three pair of jeans in like an hour. This is a Hallmark Disney High School Musical ornament. Sold it for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. So this is under the home section, under the holiday items, under ornaments. This is a little Nautica dress. I picked this up at a garage sale for like a buck and I sold it for $12, buyer paid shipping and it was new with tags. This Parfait by Often Toss Brawl Cami. I sold this for $25 and um, on Poshmark, the buyer pays the shipping. So these I got anywhere from a dollar to $3. I purchased tons and tons of these. I actually sold a bunch internationally back when I first got them. I wholesaled them out to somebody in, I think it was Australia, but um, I also kept a bunch to list myself. They are, they sell really well. They're uh, big sizes. These hot kiss pants are super, super, super old. Had them forever. I think I paid $3 at a discount store. It's one of those items where like I said, I don't get rid of stuff. I don't inventory. I just leave it listed until it sells. And this sold for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. And I still made money. The next item is Victoria's Secret bra that came from a discount store for around three bucks. And then I got these panties at a garage sale. They were new with tags. There were like three, I think three pair of panties that I got. And uh, they were all new with tags. So for the two items, I accepted an offer of $28. Poshmark took $560, so I sold it for, my profit was $22.40 minus what I paid for the items. This vintage Asian small handheld mirror. I got this at a thrift store. I want to say I paid $10, but I, 10 or 12, but I had a 30% off coupon, I do believe. And I think I got eight of them all in the lot. And I decided to sell them individually instead of as a lot. I felt like I could make more money selling them individually. This one sold for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. And this is the first one to sell. I still have a bunch left. This Harley Davidson necklace. I'm not sure what this is made of. I did not test it, but the chain is broken, but it's super cute. I, I don't know if it's cute, but it's super cool. Harley Davidson pendant necklace. Um, I sold it for $50 and the buyer paid shipping. Uh, Catherine's bra. Uh, this one was a retail arbitrage from a discount store. The item is marked through. I just disclosed that in the listing. Never had a problem. Always show a picture. Sold for $22 buyer paid shipping. This necklace, it's from Express. Um, it was at a discount store. I probably paid like a buck for it. It did end up having a defect. It was missing a feather right here. 
but um, I took a best offer of eight bucks. So I didn't make a whole lot on this couple bucks, but I was happy to sell it. And the person left me great feedback saying they could hardly tell that it had a missing feather, which was awesome. And I do have more of these listed that have the feather that are not defective. If anyone's looking for a really cute necklace, it comes like behind your neck and then that hangs down like on a black shirt or something like that. It's super cute. Uh, this Cacique Brawl came from a discount store. So it is marked through and they do that so that you cannot buy it at the discount store and return it to the retail store. This one sold for $30 and the buyer paid shipping. Okay, another super, super old listing. I've had this probably since 2013 or 14, but it was on eBay forever. It's only been on Poshmark. I don't know how long. I can't remember when I put it on Poshmark, but either way, really old listing, probably paid like three to $5 for it at a discount store, sold it for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. So I still made a profit. So the next item, this bra, I bought a bunch of these at a discount store and they even have like um, imperfections. It's like a satiny material. It's hard to see in the photo, but um, there, there's some minor imperfections and it's more just the material. There's nothing wrong with the size or anything. It is marked through and this sold for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. But what I did is Purchase new without tags. I'm marking new with defects because of the material of the cups and band shows cosmetic imperfections. This is my stock photo. All bros have imperfections and material. Sold a bunch, no complaints. So just very honest with my description so that people know exactly what to expect. And I want to say I paid one or two bucks for this. And I've sold a bunch. All right, you guys, that concludes my what sold on Poshmark video. And I have other Poshmark videos if you guys want to go check those out. Um, if you want to learn about things other than clothing, be sure to check out my eBay what solds. I don't usually show my clothing items in my eBay videos. Um, so you're going to see lots of hard goods and stuff like that. So as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And have a great night.